Allie Baird started her artistic explorations, like many of us, with a box of crayons. Having a father who runs an art gallery meant Baird met many painters, printmakers, and photographers. One of those artists, Orlin Manchev, sat with young Allie and let her experiment with other artist materials. Allie Baird went on to attend NASCAD, where she completed a BFA. She focused on sculpture in her studies. Baird started her artistic career making large metal, plaster, clay, resin, and concrete pieces. Her work is moody and features innovative color and texture. In the last year, she's produced over 100 pieces, which were the basis for three art shows, including a solo exhibit in 2014 called Home. Baird's sculpture background is evident in the use of tools and techniques employed to prepare each canvas. Allie Baird is influenced by Newfoundland and Labrador landscapes and culture in her work. Aaron Collis and Amelia Bartelis have toured throughout Canada, the U.S., Scotland, and Australia as members of the trad band The Dardanelles. Collis and Bartelis are ambassadors for the culture and heritage of Newfoundland and Labrador through traditional music for accordion and fiddle. Both are hungry to find, learn, and share the music of their predecessors and bring it to a new generation. And both share their passion and skills with students of their own. In December 2013, they released their own self-titled debut record as a duo and made transcriptions available so others can learn the tunes. Collis and Bartelis have each received the Dermot O'Reilly Legacy Award for their work promoting traditional music and their leadership as tradition bearers. Aaron Collis and Amelia Bartelis are dedicated, exemplary artists for other young musicians to look up to. It's been said of their performances, their ability to make the music seem effortless speaks volumes of their talent and passion for what they do. Audrey Hurd moved to Newfoundland and Labrador in 2011 from Perth, Ontario and quickly integrated into the professional arts community. She got involved with Eastern Edge Gallery and in 2012 completed the Don Wright Scholarship which acknowledges a demonstrated technical competence and innovation in the print medium through St. Michael's Print Shop. That scholarship resulted in Hurd's exhibition, Stone Tracks. The following year, Hurd had a solo show at the Women's Studio Workshop in Rosendale, New York. She was also the Carolee Schneeman Legacy Artist in Residence. In 2013, she exhibited at the Rogue Gallery in Eastern Edge and picked up the Vanel Carfac Emerging Artist Award. Heard spent 2014 on a year-long work exchange with the Banff Centre for the Arts and participated in the Elbow Room Residency at the Rooms. There she created an installation called Until It Remembers You, which was shown recently at the Rooms. Audrey Heard's work is reflective and rigorous. She takes a unique, physically direct approach to art, focusing on life and death, shapes, and the marks people leave behind.